So today's video is about decoding uh, the job description of a software tester. Um, today we're going to visit six job sites and I'm going to teach you how to um, decipher some software testing jargons and uh, unravel some hidden messages within the job roles. And we're going, I'm going to teach you how to translate what type of experience, what type of tools, and what type of skills that the job description is referring to. So uh, I have here uh, six uh, websites that we could possibly use for for our discussion today. I have uh, jobstreet.com, glassdoor.com, uh, uh, Upwork, and indeed.com.ph, and then careerbuilder.com, monster.com.ph, and of course, LinkedIn. So let's jump right in. So uh, I made a, a wild search by using the words manual software tester and from jobstreet.com.ph, I was able to come up with a search result that it says urgent hiring manual tester. And the other one um, for some sort of a comparison, let's use a mid-level uh, job description okay so we have uh, like uh, four categories to to decode such job description one is skills the other one is experience and third is the tools and the other one is the industry we want to find out how they relate to us and how you you could possibly align your experience along with these job descriptions. So let's find out. Um, I have here a manual tester that says, this is kind of a short one. I guess this this company is, is just pulling um, some replacement for, for their team because the job description is quite short. For example, over here, a candidate must possess a bachelor's degree, so they are entertaining newly grads without experience and your second bullet says no more experience is required so they are looking for five contract positions right now and there's your location and then your company interview company uh, overview there's not much to uh, to engage or there's not much uh, to discuss about the job description here it's some sort of a company that sells for who they are what they can offer but the uh, the real job scope is not it's not listed so we can move on move on to another one let's check on the mid-level job description that says senior software qa engineer for manual and for automation tester microsourcing i'm not affiliated affiliated with the company but uh, let's just check the job description so over here is a part of the overview what what they are trying to look for what they are aspire to look for because the job description is mostly some some checklist the job recruiters uh, or in reality you couldn't find any specific person that checks out all of the checklist in your job description but you want to look for the the right guy who could fit within your team and can perform this specific job description. So let's start with the test planning category. So the, the, it says here it's it, it should create functional map based on business requirements, documents, walkthrough, product presentation, and other communication. So what, what does it mean? So the guy has to be uh, very good in comprehension in um, reading out use cases um, this one is really important which is the business requirement so if you know what you're planning what you are deploying then you know what to test you know what your scope is and you know how much time you need uh, in order for you to deliver the testing uh, effort then moving on with the second bullet ensures that functional maps are modified and updated so every other week if you're doing an agile uh, methodology and for those of you who are not familiar with agile method methodology it's just 
a simple way of breaking down deliveries in small chunks and these small chunks are typically uh, within two weeks or four weeks uh, time frame so when they say uh, you ensured modification and updated based on the changes reintroduced in the maintenance and major releases then all you have to do is to update your business requirements by attaching uh, any recent document or any document changes or any minutes of the meeting changes uh, business decisions so you need to uh, upload them somewhere within the company uh, or project repository the third one is the create uh, test cases and test scenarios based on the functional maps so uh, in my previous videos uh, I've mentioned creating a test case and, scenar and test scenarios are, are you are part of your bread and bread and butter so um, they are your main role one of your main role as a tester uh, by uh, creating test cases and test scenarios so this is how you define what you need to check when what you need to verify and what you need to validate and then the, f the fourth item which is the uh, assist QA manager in ensuring that test cases and test scenarios it captures the features functional requirements it means to say that you are um, as a tester you are eligible to um, in increase the accurate accuracy of the uh, functional requirements if if you see that they are uh, ambiguous or not clear you have to be the ability to uh, raise some questions and raise awareness so that it would be more um, scoped okay and then the fifth one is um, creating automated test scripts based on the approved test cases and test scenarios so this is some uh, so automation automating uh, test scripts is a special skill that requires uh, uh, a QA or a software tester to use uh, a certain platform and a framework to to uh, to to create some test scripts by using codes and um, uh, uh, tools in order to uh, automate the hu uh, human um, effort. So that's the gist of it. So if if you're trying to assess if you can perform this specific um, job description when when you're test planning then you you can gauge within yourself if you are eligible or not uh, in this by um, by decoding this uh, job description and then the the sixth one is integrate new automated test scripts to the previous existing test scripts so it means to say that um, the the team already has an existing framework and all you have to do is to code uh, some test scripts that were introduced in the software so all you have to do is to merge them and they should work um, uh, seamlessly with the existing testing framework the last bullet it says it checks in the completed feature scripts in the automated ser server so uh, it tells me that the the team is using a continuous integration um, by performing and uh, within their automation framework so there is a continuous merging of changes and scripts within the sprint or within the time frame of the project that's the gist of it and then moving on with the uh, category test execution and defect management uh, it says here provides run results from both manual and automated testing to the QA manager so after performing your last four or five steps here over here then um, you need to have some, some sort of a, a result and this result that you need to uh, tweak in order to come up with a uh, an, an accurate report something very readable for the business or your manager so um, it will be easier for the team to read out what you have performed and what you have tested and then under test execution second bullet escalates to the QA manager as required issues potential bugs 
that are critical to the completion of the release, validation, and product quality. So it's just mean, it, it means to say that part of your role is to um, raise or escalate some blockers so or some software issues that requires time and effort and urgency to the from, from the developers for a fix. So if if they don't fix these issues or bugs, then it will it would hamper the the release date or your timeline. So one of your um, one of your uh, role is to um, red flag if there's any blockers or issues. Then the the third one is to document bugs encountered, including details of minimum of a minimal step set of st steps for reproducing the bug from reproducing the bug behavior well this this particular statement is just just to make sure that you do have a, a complete and concise way to document uh, issues in softwares and include some attachment like screenshots or videos in to document properly what had happened or how how you arrived with the issue so how you uncovered the, the bug so that's how it so that's it so in the next category it says here continuous process improvements so these uh, five bullet points are just uh, a repetition of the first two categories over here it so happened that uh, it says here continuous in process improvement so you are or it is expected from you or the candidate of this specific uh, uh, post to provide um, additional best practices and discuss uh, conflicts discuss uh, where you uh, wasted time in performing your job so uh, in this specific uh, uh, category it says here that th there's more uh, expected from you by providing uh, best practices so your experience will come in handy by providing um, some sort of a method or best practices to perform your job more quickly more efficiently then the other one is qualifications so it says here um, okay so it, it it's looking for someone that has somewhat business information science computer science and from something that relates to computer so they're not really picky on the on the on your degree or your college degree so that this is good and they value more on experience so as you see here at least five years of experience in software testing and two years as QA analyst or senior role so when you say senior role um, it means to say that you have mentored junior software testers and probably shared your skills and trained some personnel to improve or to to improve the delivery of your whole team and then the third one is must have experience in automated software testing so it's something that uh, um, a special skill to to create test scripts to automate your human effort in validating and verifying software variances then the uh, fourth one is experience in writing scripts macros so this is more of um, a way when you say scripts and macros it tells you that you need to have a above average skill in excel because you will be entering some formulas and conditional statements to to group out any raw data from your output on your test results or whatever you wherever you uh, uh, upload or parse data and over here uh, I want to jump in this into this um, um, item it says here experience with databases such as Oracle DB2 post on G <laughs> SQL this is something new to me and as well as SQL server so there is some back-end validation that's why you need to have um, a skill in scripting and macros so you could probably catch um, some some validation much easier much faster when you incorporate or extract data from these databases and then good general computer skills so install configure update when you are performing some automation and extracting or performing backend testing 
using these databases you need to have some sort of a skill to install of the all of these softwares by yourself so if you are experienced then there will there will be no problem if you're not then you're in big trouble because you need to document all of your steps and you, you need extra time to install of these uh, software uh, applications moving on experience with the exp application servers such as weblogic websphere or tomcat i'm not sure about this but uh, you need to uh, either i'm going to teach you one skill um, how to decode this one in a better way uh, uh, f then fluent and spoken english and ability to collaborate problem solve and work as part of a team so they also value your character when uh, you're trying to apply for the team so that's it so that's uh, one uh, job description um, with a mid-level to senior role let's move on to another source I'm going to check uh, the glass door just so you could have a comparison but by now you should have a familiarity about the flow and about the <clears throat> How to how to decode the job description so let's see here uh, again we're looking for skills experience tools and industry but by the way uh, this particular post was not able to perform or provide me any uh, software or application but something tells me that they are a big team and or they, they comprise of multiple projects in one company so they're like a vendor so that's how it is uh, that it, that's how it perceives on my in my perspective so um, let's f for Glassdoor let's check if they have um, similar or a different one Glassdoor caters to uh, multinational um openings and jobs uh job availabilities and i picked this one uh this is under in Talahuba, minas gerais but somewhere in brazil so honeywell is a well-known company has a lot of uh headquarters uh in asia and uh, south america north america and europe so they they are a very big team a very big uh company so let's check uh, the skills, uh, experience, tools in industry. Okay, um, over here it says they're looking for a test engineer. Test engineer is another way of saying that, uh, or another term for software engineers, software test engineers. Mm, they're kind of uh, the 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 one who uploaded this uh, job description. <laughs> may have used uh, a template it looks like a template to me yeah. but let's go ahead and check it out it uh, well under key responsibilities it says here set up test benches and equipment so something tells me that you are expected to um, perform a, a setup or configure your test environment test and product debug so Debug meaning uh, you are you are supposed to perform some bend, uh, back end testing like SQL um, uh, improvements, verification and validation. So very generic. There's not much to to um, to extract over here. It's just very general. Customer support doesn't mean that you need to answer some phone calls, but customer support may seem may also mean internal. Uh, internal customers like for example from other teams like infrastructure or um, marketing so some and etc then design so as a tester you need to responsibilities is to design design meaning to design test cases design test scenarios so that's that's that that's the meaning of it then uh, you must have bachelor's degree in engineering computer science so this is very specific so um this the com their, their company might incline to um, hire someone that has this specific degree 
as a test engineer because you might be handling uh, not just software but also some hardware and Honeywell is a company that handles software and hand, uh, and produces uh, hardware and tangible products okay what they value experience with SW environments I'm not good with this I don't know what it is but it can be googled <clears throat> let's move on uh, experience with product family equipment or other industry so something tells me that they have uh, multiple teams and industry so <laughs> the the uploader left it really generic said they should have update, updated this one so to all of you uh, recruiters out there and uploaders please be specific it would definitely help you out in filtering candidates and then individuals who take the initiative to get get this and so it's not much helpful um, <clears throat> individuals that assemble facts from various areas analyze data and provide information recommendation this is not a software tester role but something tells me that you are involved to, to be uh, interfacing with other teams just so you could know what to design what to test effectively using data to make intelligent decisions of course multitasking and has the ability to okay some test engineer experience experience writing and presenting <laughs> feeling the blanks okay it's not much and it's not really helpful but uh, overall uh, if you if you want to know the skills experience and tools uh, tools is not defined on this one so they're just looking for a mid I guess mid-level experience test engineer that had like two or three years of experience in testing out softwares and um, setting up uh, test environments and creating test scenarios and test cases along with the test execution the industry industry uh, Honeywell you can look it up there's this company uh, um, Glassdoor also uh, showcase the company uh, environment and culture and you can check out some pictures and the reading um, salary ranges this is not really accurate but you can get a picture of what you're what you what, what you what you can get if you if you are qualified for the job what work for us and then benefits so <clears throat> uh, Glassdoor d does not only showcase the the job description it also shows um, more of the company culture and the feedback from other uh, previous uh, employees or current employees so you might want to check last door for it and then moving on to Upwork okay uh, I used the search term manual software tester and I uh, found uh, a list of results that that we could possibly uh, decode let's try this one recruiting iOS and Android tester Manual QA with automate animation. Okay. Okay, this year um I'll be I'm producing um, an online uh, course and one of their one of my modules is um, how to test uh, a native app um uh, native app for for iOS and Android. Uh, um, watch out for that one. Okay, uh so um, normally Upwork um, have a, a very concise way of filtering out or filling out job descriptions and you can see right here straight to the point it's a weekly hour 10 hour 15 hour work you need one tester that could write test test plan which is your test case and test scenarios and your test data BRD doc so developer needs to know or can comprehend business requirement documents doc <laughs> so it's kind of redundant but BRD there you go it's business requirements document so you are expected to test manually and then um, if you can perform some robot test framework that's uh, an advantage meaning uh, they could pay you more if you can perform this one must can or can test iOS and Android and test iOS and Android 
with a simulator or real device both both are fine so <clears throat> that and then there's your early rate three dollars per hour for 50 hours then race will okay so um what you're not seeing in this job description is when you say ios and an android native app you're trying to uh, install a very a very heavy uh, application in the form of xcode for ios you cannot uh, create an emulator or simulator if you don't have xcode you cannot download or create your build an ios app without the xcode so it means to say you need to have some sort of uh, a mac uh, machine and also you, if you don't have any mac machine you didn't you can uh, probably have uh, an account with Google or Amazon uh, console that you can set up uh, a virtual machine with um, uh, an iOS uh, OS and then you can install your Xcode and for Android you can use your ordinary PC uh, Windows PC to uh, to um, install the the Android Studio along with the simulators so th that's how you define this specific job description the industry uh, of course um, this you, if, you, if you are using uh, an iOS and Android test or if you are using an iOS and Android app then you will deal with a lot of um, API testing so uh, for for Android you might use Postman as well as for iOS or you could use a, a license uh, software that's called Charles proxy so you could manipulate and check out the back-end feeds and response from the API's of this uh, native app and then you need to in log sign an NDA time log so you need to report you need to agree with the NDA before you can get hired and then you need to perform some time loggings if you're performing your your responsibilities here's you, here you are you have uh, your project linked and then the category is entry level so there might be uh, uh, um, an overkill for if you're entry level and they're expecting such work so this might be a bid level um, on tops so that's it for for uh, Google Upwork, I mean, I mean Google, uh, Upwork Global. Okay, uh, our next uh, website source is uh, indeed.com.ph, and I made a manual QA tester as my search uh, category or search uh, value, and then an NCR for the filter location. So this is a typical. Um, um, an opening for uh, in the Philippines um, it says here contract position so it's not a permanent one you can get a hold of 40 or 50 but you can still negotiate on this if you have if you are the right candidate and with with uh, paramount experience in the field so uh, again skills experience tools and industry so what are the skills they're looking for they're looking for someone who could ex execute test cases then report them and then de and then re report the results and the defect and then there's your tools uh, which is a tfs mtm jira and equivalent so these th these are um these tools are more of a crm they 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 are bug tracking tool they are reporting tool and they could also be a re repository for your uh, test cases so the so you could link up your test case along with your bug report so that you could have a traceability so that that's just the meaning of it and then the, the, they want someone who have a background in manual and functional testing so you will perform some um, exploratory testing more of a field and a ui checking and business requirement or business behavior or business uh, rules verification so you need to have a, a very a very deep um, knowledge in the product and its rules <clears throat> and 
And then the other one is experience in test automation. Frameworks is a plus. So uh, they, they would want to someone also to perform some, some test scripting to check the UI way or the or the business uh, rules of the of the software so it's not clear in the in the title over here because usually you the recruiters should um, should indicate whether it's just functional manual or with automation but there's your IT clickbait version <laughs> okay moving on uh, must have excellent communication so they value someone who could uh, express their themselves and report properly and then there's your location functional one year also so so it's not a permanent job it's it's a fixed fixed term employment job let's check other um, uh, opening over here so this one is your typical mid-level uh, job description uh, and their offer is quite low so this one looks like an entry one entry level it says here manual tester QA and then for responsibilities and duties this is a perfect example of um, an entry level job description so they would want someone who could execute website testing on multi-device environments mobile mobile tablets and desktops so you would be dealing with a uh, software that is introduced to multi-channels so you will be checking out or testing out maybe android and ios uh, mobile phones tablets and then for jira again this is uh, your bug reporting and tracking and then participation to regular calls to update to all parties on UAT status so it's just a way of saying you need to report what you've done so far if you're lagging or you're within the budget in timeline and then identification of process improvements so as a as a newbie or a manual tester you could share your uh, best practices for the team so that uh, they could also um, inherit uh, uh, efficiency uh, best practices so under your qualification and skills so, so they're looking for someone who is newly graduate so if you don't have any, any experience then they could probably hire you and it's a good way as a starting point they will teach you and train you how to perform these specific skills like bug reporting and how to uh, comprehend um, business requirements and then there's your work location and for the industry this it doesn't tell us a lot of uh, what the company uh, is dealing with but I'll show you later how to increase yourself in the preparedness as a, in your employability let's move on to the my favorite one LinkedIn so uh, an example this is an example of a mid-level part so responsibilities so again test scripts test plans so if you encounter test scripts it means to say they're looking for someone who is who's able to create uh, an automated um, test cases using a tool so uh, you keep gauge uh, initially if you, if you are qualified or not analyze prepared test data communicate project team uh, create enhanced maintain test scripts so by now uh, you will you you get a hold of uh, the the common traits and roles and responsibilities of uh, a software engineer um, as a manual tester so there you have it I hope you learned today how to decode a software tester job description and in my next video I'm going to provide you one simple trick on how to increase your employability don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the, and the notification so you don't have to miss it. I'll see you in the next one. Good.